new video. We're starting with Super Attractors. And we're going to see over this beautiful, beautiful, lovely weekend what Super Attractors, the universe, would like us to tap into. This makeshift table is not... <laughs> it's cool. It'll work. All right. Let's go. Four times. What Super Attractors, attractors would you like the collective to have? On this beautiful weekend, universe, what super attractive would you like the collective to have on this beautiful weekend? Last time in the bottom of the deck. Any additional super attractives for my beautiful, loving? Nope, not today. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, that fell out, and then this one is on the bottom. Ooh, look how pretty. I release time and let the universe show me what to do. Time is an illusion. Release it. Follow your guidance and let the universe show you. See? It's giving you downloads, trying to tell you. Just follow it. That niggle in the gut, that that uh, inkling or that pull, follow it. Next is, I can decide. I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. That's what I'm doing. Recalibrate, relax. I even got me a little bit of ice cream, which I know I don't need, but that's okay. So I'm gonna work it off, and I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna listen to music. I'm gonna kick back. I don't even think I'm gonna clean up today. I mean, it's not messy i got things i gotta donate but other than that you know like i usually top to bottom i'll do it tomorrow today is for me you know either way i could decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy absolutely next is ooh, look at that one Beautiful. i trust that my powerful intuition combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. Yes. Stay focused. Envision. What makes you happy? And, and zoom in on it. Becomes your reality eventually. Next is, I don't know why I'm pressing on this. This table might fall, but that's okay. Next is, in stillness, I receive. Yeah. Gotta have open energy, you gotta be balanced, balanced with feminine and masculine. You know, you gotta just still yourself. If it's with um, meditation, if it's with um, massage, if it's with rest, if it's with nature, if it's with whatever you choose to find your stillness in, that's when you begin to receive. Next is... Wow. When I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful, right? See the pretty pink moon and two birds and surrounded by beautiful energy just beaming off. I love it. Last one is... Each time I choose to tune in to spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. Yeah. Tune into the spirit and you'll get your guidance. It might be murky at first. Could be dark. Follow it. The path will become ignited and clearer as you take step one. Trust me. All right, so working for the light oracles. Those of us working for the light, which is a lot of people, and it doesn't necessarily mean a um, spiritual healer. You could be a doctor, you could be a nurse, you could be a teacher, you could be a coach, you could be a counselor. Anyone that's working for the greater good of humanity, the babies, and the elders is a light worker. Okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be specifically in spirituality.
What light information would you like to share with the collective today? Any light information or cards that you would like to share with the collective today? Any additional, this is my last one, light information that you would like to share with the collective? Okay, so we got two in the bottom. The bottom is the Great Gathering. Wow. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. So try. They're on their way. Got to stay within peace. Got to keep your balance. Don't allow yourself to be triggered. Don't be pulled back into a direction of uh, non-growth. Stagnancy. But yeah. You're doing it. It's beautiful. Next is... The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Yeah. You're probably going to go into unshattered territory, places where you haven't gone before. It might feel a little weird and, you know, a little timid, uh, intimidated. And, you know, just stand in that and know that you have all you need and everything is within and push through it. Because it might feel that way in the beginning, but you might begin to love it. You never know until you try. Whatever it is. Next is the Age of Light. And this, yeah, this did come out the other day. So this is actually very important, you all. And you see how, for me, the way intuitively I see this card is all knowledge, information, you know, and information raining down from the crown through all the way down through the sacral, and just anyway. It says, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Yeah. Been here before. Oh, so now it's time to continue to break those generational curses and do right by your ancestors. Um, create generational wealth. Live off the land. Learn to be self-everything. Uh, motivated. Entrepreneurs. Um, inventors. Everything that we once were that kind of died down and became, you know, obsolete, truly, um, and hidden. Let's get back into it. Why not? Let's see where we at. 34. Okay, so I'll do, let's see. Let's do messages from the fairies and then the calendar. And that's it. I think the second one's going to be about 12 minutes. That's enough time. I do have some dragon cards, but I don't think we're there yet. So when we are there, they are quite exciting. Bottom of the deck. Ooh! Debt paid off, baby. Hey! That was. What we mean? The old way and habit of death, debt, is lifted from you and your life. Accept and receive. I receive and believe and I know. Because it's already. Mm. Debt paid off. I'm glad I pulled these cards. Now we have. Okay, one, two, three, four, five down here, one right here. I'll read that one last since that's the other one that popped out last. Okay, so let's start with this one. This says winter. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter season. Okay, so by this time, winter coming up, your manifestations are beginning to roll out now, but they're going to be fully realized in the winter season keep going next is ooh, walk away something you need to leave behind look at the card she looks like she's looking back might not want to let go but you're being advised 
to walk away. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Mm -hmm. You let go of something hard and that is holding you back and burdening you and watch and see the beauty that flows in. I'm telling you, firsthand knowledge and I don't try to get too much into my personal information because it's always someone listening that hates everything that you say. But it is absolute truth that once you go into the self, mind, body, spirit, and you, re you learn how powerful you are, you call your power back to you in the morning and at night before you go to sleep, and you move in a fashion where your moves are for your joy and happiness, for the greater divine and people and things of that nature, your life, it just begins to change in such a magical way. And it's lovely. Moving on, next card is everything's okay? Yeah, look, everything's okay. Calm down, relax. That's why this weekend, especially today, you're just supposed to be taking it off and kicking your feet up. Even if you gotta work, when you get off, take your nice bath, have your beautiful cup of tea. Speaking of tea, I found these uh, yesterday when I was in Virginia. I went to a convenience store and I met a guy named Heaven. He was so beautiful. Um, and I was asking about some incense. He had these. He, he had just got in the Black Knight. That smells really, really, really good. So he came from behind the counter, which, you know, most of the Arabians don't, they don't do. They'll point you in that direction. But he actually came from behind the counter, looked through all of the incense. That was the last one and got it for me. And as we were going back, I saw these. He had them only two for a dollar. Now this is Marsala tea. And then this one is mint ginger tea and you know directions are right here on the back you just take the tea put a little bit of well not a little bit hot water how much you prefer you can either just mix it up that way add a little sweetener if you like agave um you can use i use agave i don't know i mean some people still use white sugar that's horrible for you but however you choose to sweeten your drinks you could sweeten it a little bit anyway everything's okay don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. Yeah, don't worry about it. You've done all you need to do. Take a rest, take a take a rest, take a break. I said rest. I don't know why. Um, maybe someone's thinking about moving on. Next is spring, winter and spring. Mm -hmm. Your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. Okay, so they're going to manifest in spring, and then they're going to be fully realized in the winter. Wonderful. Spring's coming. Really close. Next is, <coughs> excuse me, patience, please. Yeah, you can't rush the universe, you know? Divine timing. Not your time. Look, her ready to jump. Sit still, girl. Patience, please. Look at that beautiful bird. Is that a bird or a butterfly? That's a butterfly. Look at that one. Black and white. That's pretty. Never seen one like that. Anyway, what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience, and there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Yeah, so divine timing. There's things that have to unfold that, you know, that are going on behind the scenes you have no control over, and it's nothing you can do about it if you wanted to. So just be patient. It's happening. You're doing the work. It's happening. Last card is your... You've got the power. Wow. You've got the power. Look at the child on the card. So maybe this has something to do with star seeds. Or it could just be you and your inner child. But the card says, use your abilities to resolve this situation. And you can do it. Yeah, you've got the power. Every situation that I have had that I felt has held me back, I have done everything I could to resolve it. Um, some people just don't want resolution. They just want combativeness. And, you know, in that situation, I just gracefully bow out and, you know, give it to them. You got it. I don't, I don't have time anymore. Life is too short. I have a child to raise. I have a legacy to continue to build. So, you know, try your best to resolve issues. But everyone doesn't want to resolve. Um, so just be advised. Be aware. This is in my book for my calendar. I don't know if you're interested, but calendar is very short today. It's just two sentences. So I'm going to tell you this real quick because it's available to all of us. And then I'll read Saturday and Sunday, the fifth and sixth. Okay. So for this, 
believe it or not, I was watching Dr. Omar. And I know a lot of people um, may have issues with him or whatever the case may be. And it has nothing to do with my personal opinion. I think he's a very intelligent, very strong, um, very driven man. You know, I don't agree with all ideology, but I don't get in the way of what he's doing. If I can be of a help, I will. Either way, long story short, he advised that 469 seats in the U.S. Congress will be going up and available November 8th of this year. Now, if you're interested in anyone over the age of 25 that's an American citizen, even if you've had certain run-ins with the law, you can qualify. You have to get your application in before April of this year. So, 469 seats. I know a lot of people aren't into politics, but if that can be dominated by a new group of people, then that is true change. Out of 469 and 452 are our people, we might be able to get in there and shape some things. I don't know. Just be advised, be aware. 469 seats in the U.S. Congress will be open and available November the 8th. But you have to get your application in by April to be considered. All right. Calendar. You can't take care of anything or anyone if you don't take care of yourself. See? Whole reason I came on today. To advise you to relax. Kick back. Enjoy your weekend. Don't try to do everything for everyone every day. It's going to burn you out. You're going to get bags like these. I'm working on them, but they were much, much darker. Trust me. I did everything in my life to... I guess you could call it a people pleaser, but I didn't see it like that. I just saw that there were people in need and I wanted to do whatever I could to help, but I was neglecting myself. Uh, that was until I had a child and my total focus was on him because he was a very sick baby. He was a premature child. Uh, him and I both passed away during childbirth. We were resuscitated according to what they told us. You know, I was out. They told me when I got to the hospital that they had to knock me out to take him out. So I really don't know what happened. I'm going by what the doctor's saying, what's in the paperwork. But um, he had a tough battle. My son's heart would not beat on its own for a very long time. I had to kangaroo him and keep him in my shirt. And my heartbeat had to, I don't know what you call it. They call it kangarooing, but when his heartbeat would match the temple to my heartbeat, that machine that they kept him on would just be steady he would be fine and whenever they would take him off of me or if I had to use the bathroom or something like that you would see the numbers jump up and down so it was it was pertinent that um, a premature child it, it is pertinent that you are there and you don't leave them there with just nurses to take care of them because they know you believe it or not they already do he would sit on my chest as um, not even a month old and just look straight in my eyes and he was so little. He was so tiny. It was so beautiful. I used to have all the pictures. But um, that's neither here nor there. Everything happens for a reason. If it's due to come back to me, it will. But take care of yourself. No one else before you. Nothing else before you outside of the divine. Divine, yourself, your children. They don't come before the divine and they don't come before yourself. Because if you're not in good health, you can't take care of anyone. All right, you guys. So... Thank you for coming into my home on the weekend and allow me to have fun with you. But I'm going to stay down here on the floor, which is what I love. I'll probably do some more reading, some more writing, some more creating. I don't know. Whatever I decide to do. And um, kick back. I love you all. I do. I do. I do. And there's nothing you can do about it. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. I might be back tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever the calling is. Bye-bye.